PTB day. Here we go. <laughs> the unknown. voice lines all right all right so unknown probably not what anyone was expecting so his three perks or this, it, whatever that is unbound this perk activates for 24 seconds all right hold on let's read the tier three version this perk activates for 30 seconds after a survivor becomes injured by any means after vaulting a window you gain five percent haste for 10 seconds this effect cannot stack with itself Unforeseen. When you perform the break action on generator, your tear radius transfers to the generator for 30 seconds, and its radius is set to 32 meters. You gain undetectable for that duration. This perk then goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. That is not bad at all, actually. When a survivor misses a healing or repair skill check, gain three tokens up to 30. When you perform a break action on generator, if you have any tokens, consume all of them. For each token consumed, the generator loses 1% total progress and then becomes blocked for one second. Then, once the generator is unblocked, it starts regressing. This perk does a cooldown for 60 seconds. Okay, so pop goes the weasel, but you're banking on survivors being bad. Average height, another 4.6 killer, always and 32 meter tear radius. I'm actually going to use the small amount of blood points I have, level them up, and then I'll come back and read the power. Give me a second. Okay, here we are, we're back. I'm, Vux, I don't know how to pronounce that. Press the power button to charge, Vux, Vux. Once ready, press the attack button to launch, Vux. A bouncing projectile, which creates a blast area upon impact, survivors become hindered if touched by Vux while airborne. Survivors touching the blast area become weakened. Weakened survivors lose health states if touched by blast areas. Survivors lose weakened by successfully staring down the unknown. This is going to be another ghost face situation. Gotcha. The unknown will intermittently create hallucinate. Hallucinations. Hallucinations cannot be created while charging books, performing interactions, or in proximity to map objects like hooks, generators, lockers, probably, etc. Whenever survivors are touched by blast areas or otherwise become weakened, the next hallucination spawn time decreases by 10 seconds. The unknown can teleport to hallucinations, leaving behind a temporary decoy. Survivors can remove hallucinations from the trial with the dispel ability. Weakened survivors take longer to dispel. If dispel is not completed, survivors become weakened and trigger killer instinct. It sounds like a lot on paper, but it probably won't be that bad. Alright, let's run all three of this fellow's perks here. Hey, you need to calm down. Look, relax. And we will run one Mori. I'm not going to run add-ons. We're just going to base power this. We'll see how this goes. All right. Here we go. All right. Come on, man. Stand up. There you go. For saying average height, this feels tall. Okay. Slowed when putting it away, gotcha.
infinite range on the hallucinations too. It's creepy shit. <laughs> I do like the voice lines. It's they're completely random. I don't I mean it's just random. I don't know if they're tied to anything. Instant, okay, ooh. Can't do lion. I wanna try and hit this. It's, I'm confused. Let's shoot at an arc. Oh my god. Gotcha. So it's kind of... Okay. This seems like a lot of killers in one. say I'm lost I'm kind of confused actually there's some killers that just make sense this one's weird Bounce off walls too? Okay. Hmm. So it's almost like a nemesis kind of infection. Like you hit him once, and then you can hit it again. lost like this feels like nemesis with more range the way that the vox blast works this feels like hag with weird traps that i don't know how to get deployed Mori 
three Claudette. We might as well. Alright, let's see it. Kind of gross. If you ask me. I'm still trying to figure out how these teleports place. I don't think there's any help in here, to be honest. Don't get it. So very much lost. Oh, that was gonna work. Also, the teleport teleports to way the which way the hallucination is facing, not which way you're facing. <laughs> range I could get on this. Like, oh, not if I hit three. Okay, I am still so confused. What is going on? I backtracked a while ago, actually. Like, you see, the way that it's described, I would think, like, you lose health states periodically. I don't know. Ugh. I am so lost. I mean, we got to see the Mori. That was kind of cool. I don't know what is happening. Oh boy, and the new map. All right, let's see it. Here we go. <laughs> sure, yeah, pinball machine. Just, yeah, you know what, why not? So deep up, phone booth. Get you here. Main building, that's a nasty window vault right there. Also, a pretty good one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That was my 
fault. Okay. I gotta remember, it bounces off projectiles. It's a little weird. <laughs> it bounces off projectiles. Yeah, okay. It bounces off obstacles. And there is very horrendous hook spread on this one. Okay. To a fantastic start. <laughs> Oh, also, they are all playing the new survivor. Okay. Alright, I'm getting generous. That's what I get for bringing Amori two times in a row. That was my bad. Oops. Sorry. I didn't mean it. And I guess every hallucination stays there until it's dispelled. What I say, uh, that is not happening in a million years. stare at you for a while for that to go off, okay. <laughs> that helped me from the trailer, not bad. Determines if I can and can't teleport. Cheese music is very interesting for this turn. Oh. It's a very small blast radius, but it can work. basement.
this killer seems strangely apologetic. For whatever reason. Oh, and the hallucinations speak too. Kind of crazy. I think I get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get it a lot more than I did first round. Hold on. Undetectable. <laughs> Was it the worst teleport I could have done? We take it. Shoot. Okay, this is unsafe. That shouldn't have hit. So this feels like a pretty fair sized map, honestly. Um, I like the feeling of it. It just feels like a It feels more like a residential just like this is this is the neighborhood park. It feels more like that opposed to I think it's, it's too busy looking at the pink. Yeah. Okay. What the hell? The double pallet rock. We all thought Shelter Woods was bad. Have you played the new map? This is Pallet Woods now. <laughs> Can I make it a basement? Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know how to feel about this killer. So the counterplay to him is 
looking at him, so that way you're not weakened, so he can't hit you with a ranged attack. So you're constantly trying to deter a ranged attack. Uh, the hallucinations you have to go and manually dispel. And there doesn't seem to be a cap on them either. Get here, I just go like right here. I'll make sure I'm facing the right way. Yeah, it's kind of like a nemesis hit too. When you get weakened, you get a little sprint boost too. hit someone directly that should also damage maybe that's just too powerful to me but oh. that seems about right <laughs> I'm not much of a vaulter when it comes to the game so Guys. Here, witness. Killer in a wall. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh! Nice! This killer seems strangely apologetic, but also would have the same shit to say in horror movies. Okay, yeah, 100% kind of like a ghost face mechanic. Can't spend too much time looking. It takes way longer to break up the weekend, though. God, it's such a tidy radius, too. But, um, Very weird. I don't know how to feel about this killer. I really don't. I, I don't know. This seems like a lot. There's a lot of different things happening all at once with this killer. We have weird kind of hag phantasm traps. We have a weakened state kind of like Nemesis T-Virus. We have 
said T-Virus-esque thing in the form of a ranged attack that has a small explosion that also bounces off every wall. Um, the survivors have to look at you for an extended amount of time to get rid of said thing. Um, huh. I don't know about this killer yet. I really don't. But, that, that's, that's what I got for right now, so. Um, I've been Legion Leopard Zero. This has been The Unknown, the new and next killer coming to Dead by Daylight.